Believe it or not, we can make this water perfectly safe to drink using nothing but the power of the sun, using the SOTUS method, which stands for solar disinfection. I'll show you how it's done. I want to get the cleanest water I can. You want to use PET containers if possible. PET is a form of plastic and it's indicated by a symbol. That symbol right there. It's like the triangle with the recycling arrows on it. A lot of times it'll have a one. Sometimes it'll say PET. There's a variety of symbols that indicate it. I'll have them on the blog so you can see them all. You can use glass. Um, in fact, there's some advantages. It holds up to heat better and heat and the UV rays from the sun work together to disinfect the water. Some disadvantages of using PET, plastic containers, is that uh, they eventually do break down in the sun, so you have to replace them. Plus, they get scratched, okay? You need your container to be clear, not green, not brown, and not milky colored like a milk carton. Okay, it needs to be clear, see-through like this. This water has some turbidity, means it's cloudy. There's a limit to how turbid the water can be, and this method still work. So the way to test that is to get a container full of water and then see if you can read through it. So I have here a headline-sized font, and I'm gonna put it on the ground and put the bottle on top and see if I can read it. So if you can read the headline, then the water is clear enough for it to work. Let's go find a sunny place to put these bottles. You want to give these six hours of full sun to disinfect. And obviously it's too late in the day. We're going to lay them out now and then tomorrow's supposed to be sunny, so we'll let it go all day tomorrow. I'm going to lay these down. And notice when I lay this one down, I'm not going to lay it like this. I'm going to lay it like this. You don't want to use any container that's more than four inches thick. So this is about as big as you want to go. If you've got clouds in the sky, um, but the sky is less than 50% cloudy, you're still good with six hours. If it's more than 50% cloudy, do it for two days, six hours each. If it's completely overcast, you can't use this method. If it's raining, um, collect rainwater, or uh, you, know, you might have to boil some groundwater or pasteurize it. Some things you can do to improve the, the entire process is to uh, somehow collect heat. If you have a sheet of corrugated metal, then put your bottles on that. Put them on a roof. Put them on some dark rocks, something like that. At least try to protect them from cooling breezes without shading them. The SOTUS method of disinfecting water is very simple, but you have to understand what's actually going on here. This is not water purification. You're not gonna wind up with pure water here. This has algae and blades of grass and looks like maybe a bug. All those things are still gonna be in water. It's not gonna be pure water. But it will be disinfected. All of the live pathogens that are susceptible to UV rays are gonna be dead. So the algae might still be alive and it might still grow, but algae is not a health hazard. I'm not worried about that. If your water is too cloudy, to use this method, then you'll have to filter it before you put it in these containers. When you're done disinfecting the water, leave them in these containers. If you must transfer them into another container, that container must be sterile. Otherwise, you're just gonna recontaminate the water. This method also does not remove chemical pollutants. So you need to be sure you're getting your water from a source that's not gonna be contaminated with you know, pesticides um, or other chemicals that would otherwise need to be removed with like a carbon filter. But if you can get groundwater that is not chemically contaminated and you just want to kill the germs in it, this is a fantastic way to do that. It's a great productivity multiplier because I'm just laying this water out in the sun and then for six hours the sun is gonna do all my work for me while I'm 
going about the business of surviving. And then I'll come back and the water will be safe to drink. So let's come back and check on this tomorrow. It's uh, quarter to 10 in the morning and uh, this area has been in the sun. I'm gonna count from nine o'clock, so three o'clock this afternoon, we should be good. Mm-hmm. Didn't get as hot as I'd like. 150 for a half hour is gonna pasteurize the water and uh, it didn't get anywhere near that, so we're gonna have to count exclusively on the UV rays. Look, it's still got junk in it. Just as predicted, all that stuff is still in there. So this is not purified water. This is hopefully disinfected. And it's uh, warm. So be kind of gross, but I'm gonna try it. And then <laughs> if I get sick, I'll update this video and let you know. Here we go. Tastes just like pond water. This is stuff you would only drink if you had to or if you were making a video. Now understand that with the SOTUS method, it's real simple. You just gotta get a few things right. You need to go to the website, survivalnewsonline.com because I'll have all the details there as well as some um, fact sheets, some research done by the SOTUS Institute and um, I'll have some links to some of their papers. Go to the website, get the information you need and then try this out in the yard. I'll see you at the blog.